Well, my name is Troy Yoakum. I'm an Iraq War veteran, and I'm also a Congressional Medal of Honor Citizen Honors recipient. Uh, I help veterans. That's basically what I do every single day. I work with veterans that deal with post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, a lot of veterans who have suicidal tendencies, and of course I'm working with them through the charity Active Heroes, uh, where we assist them with different programs that really counteract those symptoms of post-traumatic stress. Active Heroes is a 501c3 national charity. We are based with our headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky, but we assist veterans with four different programs nationally. Our first program is financial assistance. We've been doing it for over three years now. We are able to help a select few veterans uh, who are needing financial assistance, maybe with mortgage bills, uh, car payments, or even wounded veterans with wheelchairs or wheelchair ramps. Um, we also repair homes. We've done 30 homes for veterans uh, in the state of Kentucky, Indiana, Florida, and Texas over the last three years. Uh, we have active challenge events in every single state. They are events that veterans, military families, and military supporters can all uh, participate in. They range from CrossFit to uh, ruck marches or walking events, even 5Ks, and of course we have the stand at attention competition that is growing nationally. Through those events, we also offer suicide prevention training to team leaders. They are flown into Louisville, receive that training, and then go back out to uh, their state and start working their community to assist veterans. When a veteran is suicidal, they're immediately surrounded by a dozen other veterans that have gone through similar instances and work with them. And of course, the retreat is our fourth program. It's probably our largest endeavor as a program with Active Heroes to assist veterans and their families. You know, USA Today recently did a story on veteran suicides. Uh, and that also was taking a look at overall suicides for all Americans. 330 million plus of us in this country. There are 40,000 suicides across America. And to think that military members are one to 2% of all Americans, yet they make up of, you know, they make up for 8,000 plus suicides of the 40,000. That's amazing. I, it's, it's a tragedy when you really think about it. You know, there has to be something done to definitely help these veterans reintegrate and let them know that there's so many people out there that want to support them and will support them. That's why it's, it's so important to build this retreat center. The Actor Heroes Retreat Center is 144 acres. It is almost two miles across. Uh, it has a lot of areas that are completely forest and uh, about eight different areas that are more flat and open for use for camping. It was in rough condition when we first purchased the land back in November 11, 2013. And it's been a long process to start cleaning out the facility. It was vacant for 10 years. In a sense, it was an overgrown jungle. We've had to build and develop the ATV trails coming in to start bringing in gear and cleaning up the areas. We've had uh, a lot of different companies bring in machinery to help support it. We surveyed over 300 military families and we asked them what did they want in the retreat as opposed to our board of directors saying, well, we know exactly what will help military families. It was very important to get the feedback from the veterans and their, their spouses, their children, because we want to make sure that the activities that are put into the retreat are ones that they're gonna be participating in. It's an amazing healing place for veterans and their families. It has this amazing ability to take stress away. The long range plans for the Active Heroes Retreat Center are to get our roads built, our uh, parking lot and lake within the next year to two. Uh, from that point on, we're looking at continuous fundraising to help raise the money needed to start building the cabins, welcome center, and 
about 20 different activities. 600 veterans have visited the retreat in this first 11 months, and that's without even one road or even one building you know, up and running at this point. So I'm very, very optimistic on the number of veterans that the retreat will be able to assist, and especially the way that we're going to be able to assist them there. Active Heroes Retreat is a very new, innovative way for alternative therapy for veterans, um, especially combat veterans. When you deal with PTSD, like my father has for many years since Vietnam, as a family member, you're experiencing that, that issue with them. And it's always great to see new organizations come up with new ways to deal with it that aren't heavily medicated uh, programs. When you have alternative therapy like this, where it's more of that healing with nature, healing one-on-one -on -one with veteran-specific programming, we find that that's highly successful. The most rewarding thing about Active Heroes is just being able to work every single day with veterans. Uh, you know, being a veteran myself, I find that it's, it's great to be able to, you know, just talk about normal life with these veterans. Um, I also think, you know, it, it's very rewarding to see that the work is paying off. You know, to see the smiles on the faces of the kids and the wife while we're building a home for them. Or, you know, the sometimes a, a letter from a wounded veteran that we got them a wheelchair. Those are little things that make me smile and, and make me realize that this job is worth it.